Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Making Sense of Your Market. Today is Sunday. It's August 15th, 2021 from Alaska, Kenai, Alaska. I'm up here uh, fishing with my uncle who's a guide on the Kenai River. I brought my son and my mom and my dad up here to celebrate my son's 13th birthday, a birthday that he will never, ever, ever forget. He's in love with Alaska. He and, uh, well, we all fished our eyeballs out for the last three days. We're bringing home more sockeye and silver salmon um, than you could catch in a lifetime. But uh, an incredible time. Listen, I wanted to bring you some more information that will help you come out of your journey of home ownership on the other side in a better financial position. And today I have some really good info for you. This is information that, you know, I talk about a lot relative to money and just awareness. All right. It's, there's nothing more than just bringing about awareness. So I'm going to talk about a formula that I got from a book that you probably have all heard of, The Millionaire Next Door, uh, a formula to determine if you're on track for retirement. So you plug in your age, you plug in your net worth and blah, blah, blah. It spits out a number. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to bring you up to speed on where rates are. They went up a little over the last week, and then I'm going to close with week 17 of our 52 weeks from the book, Stephen R. Covey's bestseller, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Week 17 is all about goals. It's going to tie in to my message on money. So let's talk real briefly on the mortgage market and where mortgage rates are. So over the week, as I was up here in Alaska, interest rates trickled up just a tad. I don't think it's anything to be worried about. So 30-year fixed rates, 2.875 to 2.99 depending on your credit score and down payment and type of property, 15 year fixed rate still in the low too. So still a great time uh, to evaluate if you're a homeowner, your mortgage, and if you're a home buyer, great time to leverage really cheap money. Reach out to me if you have any questions on that. That's what I do for a living. That's what I'm super passionate about. The other thing I'm really passionate about at 46 years of age is awareness and bringing awareness around money and the fact that I'm going to help put you into a lot of debt, your mortgage, and I want to help you get through that mortgage, pay the least amount of interest and come out the other side in a better financial position. So if we focus on money now, while we're young, while we have a mortgage, while we're paying into it, while we have the resources and the whereabouts, you'll come out of this thing in a better financial position. So today is all about where are you now? It's a test that I take myself annually and I give this to my clients. It's real simple. I got this from the best-selling money book, The Millionaire Next Door. Simply take your age and you multiply that by your gross W-2 income. That's your household income. So for example, if I make $200,000 a year and I'm 45 years of age, you go 45 times $200,000 and you get a number. Divide that number by 10 and that should be your total cash net worth. Money that you have in investments or money that you have in savings right now that you should prepare to invest. I'm going to post this formula right over here, whoops, or right over here, and I want you to plug your plug your numbers in, plug your scenario in, and reach out to me. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'm happy to be a resource because the next level, the next step is working backwards from retirement to figure out what your actual number is. If you have any questions on this, go to budgetwithdan.com. I have a ton of information there. Man, the bugs and mosquitoes up here are nuts. I have a ton of information at budgetwithdan.com that will help you with this test. It'll give you this formula, but it'll also allow you to understand where you need to be at from a retirement standpoint. So speaking of that, in order to plan for retirement, you have to be good or have to have an idea around setting goals. So week 17 of our 52-week series from Stephen R. Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, is setting a goal. And I'm going to read this to you because it's too good to try to memorize. It's too good to freelance. Stephen R. Covey says, what one thing can I do that if done regularly would make a tremendous positive influence in my life? He says, your goals should reflect your deepest values, your unique talents, and your sense of mission. An effective goal gives meaning to purpose to your everyday life and translate, it translates into your daily activities. This is amazing. Listen to this over again, what I just said. This is, I've learned this a long time ago and I continue to repeat it to myself. Your goals, your money goals, and your bank statements must be connected. If there's a disconnect with the money that you're spending or the, the lack of money that you're saving, but your goal is here, you see what I'm saying? Your daily activities need to reflect your goals. Great message this week. I gotta get ready to hit a plane back to SeaTac. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Thank you all 
for commenting and responding and, and asking me questions and allowing me to refer you to financial planners and CPAs and to help you with your mortgage. Um, be well. I'll come back with another update, update next week. Bye for now.